Welcome to Thunder Weekly, sponsored by Eskridge Lexus, Nipplemeyer Chevrolet, Sam's Optical, Sun and Ski Sports, RV General Store, Circle Fit. Now here is your host, Rick Heath and Mark Rogers. Hello sports fans and welcome to Thunder Weekly. I'm Rick Heath, with me Mark Rogers, and Mark, we are at Louis Brookhaven in Norman, a great fun place to be. Absolutely, I always love my time here in Louis. They got new menu items, which are sensational. Well, you know, everything's under $10 for food. They got drink specials, they got all the TVs if you want to watch March Madness or the Thunder. It's all at your neighborhood, Louis Grill and Bar, all over the metro area. We happen to be in Brookhaven in Norman. It's a fun place. If you're around here, you got to come by and see them. They got great drink specials during March Madness. Um, before we talk March Madness, so Mark, I want to talk about a big game coming up this Saturday for the Thunder. San Antonio comes to town. Yeah, it is a pretty big game. I think. Rick, we've seen, though, throughout this season that Oklahoma City is definitely a rung below San Antonio and Golden State. They're a level above the Clippers. And, and so what happens in the playoffs? Can they turn it on? San Antonio made a big statement on his home court Saturday night by knocking off Golden State. No one's beaten the Spurs at home this year. No, the game is in Oklahoma City Saturday. But, again, the Thunder are going to have to find a way to win one in San Antonio if they get to that series. Well, you know, and I think right now this is more about trying to make a statement. You know, I mean, San Antonio just held the highest scoring team in the NBA to 79 points. I mean, that was a statement. No doubt. Now, can the Thunder answer? I think the Thunder at home, it's, I think it'll be a good measuring stick to see how far they've come from the beginning of the season when they defeated San Antonio. I think hopes are a little different at that point in time uh, than they are right now. But the, the Thunder are playing good basketball right now. Good basketball. They are, they are playing good basketball, so the Thunder. I mean, so are the Spurs. Um, you know, and, and, and it's no longer Ginobili and Parker and Duncan's team. It's Aldridge, Kawhi Leonard's team for the Spurs. Yeah, no, it is. They made that transition pretty good. And I think that goes to the whole Spurs culture of ball movement. And they've even added some different pieces here at the trade deadline and, and the free agency period uh, where they can sign people that have been released. So San Antonio, you have to give them credit from R.C. Buford and Greg Popovich that those guys have designed this team where they can transition from one era to the other, and they're still very much pretty team seamless, to beat. Pretty yeah. seamless. Hey, if you need those tickets to Thunder and San Antonio, go to OklahomaTickets.com or give Tickets Unlimited a call at 364-7500. The best selection of Thunder tickets and concert tickets are at OklahomaTickets.com. We'll be right back after this. Brown O'Haver, the adjusters for the insured. Just as Billy Donovan, coach for the Thunder, has to make the right call for the Thunder, you need to make the right call as well. If you sustain damage to your home or business by storms, you need to make the right call too. Brown O'Haver, adjusters for the insured. Brown O'Haver, with over 25 years experience in helping the insured, can help you settle your claim in an equitable manner. Don't settle for as low as 30 or 40 cents on the dollar. Get full value with expert help from Brown O'Haver, adjusters for the insured. Don't settle for less. Call Brown O'Haver today. Why have people trusted Sam's Optical for over 30 years for their eyeglass needs? I, I, I think I'm the new kid on the block with Sam's Optical. As a matter of fact, when I came here, I wasn't coming here to buy glasses. I was coming here to get some information to where the doctor's office was next door and just the aviance and the atmosphere. After they gave me the information I needed, I went to my eye doctor. Then I came back in and felt like I was at home. Sam's Optical for over 30 years, bringing you the best prices and service at any of Sam's locations. Hi, it's Sam at Louie's Grill and Bar, where we are famous for delicious burgers, like our new Deep South Burger, featuring sliced ham, smoky barbecue sauce, and fried green tomatoes. At Louie's, we're in your neighborhood. At RV General Store, we've got rootin' tootin' RV bargains for you every day. 27-foot bunkhouse travel trailers, just $13,995 and $117 a month any day. 28-foot double slide fifth wheels, just $27,995 and $199 a month every day. And Vegas slide-out motorhomes, just $72,911 and $489 a month today. Plus, over 150 RVs to pick through. And we're Oklahoma's only dealer with RV warranty forever. Rootin' tootin' RV bargains at RV General Store, where we make going fun. Knippelmeyer Chevrolet. Knippelmeyer Chevrolet. Knippelmeyer Chevrolet. Come on down and join our family, and we'll shake on it. Knippelmeyer Chevrolet. 
Hi, I'm Phil, owner of Mattresses and Furniture. You'll find me here every day and I would love to meet you. And that's not the case at most other furniture stores. Five-piece dining set starting at $129. Sectionals starting at $399. Sofa and love seats starting at $599. And take it all home with no money down and no credit check. Come see me. I'll do whatever it takes to earn your business. And unlike the other guys, I won't miss you over a few bucks. Here at Mattresses and Furniture, Southwest 15th and Council Road. Come see us. And welcome back to Thunder Weekly. Rick Heath, Mark Rogers, broadcasting from Louis, Brookhaven in Norman. Mark, the Spurs coming in, we talked about it's Aldridge, Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard was and is one of the premier defenders in the NBA. But he's also become almost unstoppable offensively. I think this offense is more attributed to the Spurs system. So many people shine in that system because they move the ball so well and they have basically on their roster, they got a lot of shot makers, guys that can hit open shots uh, in the NBA, which is a, which is a strong commodity. Everybody buys into a team defensive principle, uh, but Kawhi has those skills with great hands, you know, his athletic build. He's 6'8", he really can move like he's 6'3", so he can guard a lot of different positions on the floor, and that's what makes him such a good player. You know, and, and Marcus Aldridge, what a great addition. I mean, you know, the, coming as a free agent from Portland, uh, not many people really thought that the Spurs had a chance, except for Popovich uh, and probably R.C. Buford. But, I mean, this has become, you know, he's taken Duncan's spot as that low post scorer, mm -hmm. and he's as reliable as there is in the NBA. That was a great signing. And I think people wondered how that would work with San Antonio. But here, it, again, speaks to the transitional abilities of Popovich and Buford is that the Spurs really now are running a lot of offense through him, rather it, the past it used to be more toward Parker facilitating guys getting open and now it's working through the post with Aldridge and that's the transition for the former Spurs to the current Spurs and he's one of the best post up players in the NBA so we'll see what they can put around him with that defense. Well you know it's one of the things that the, uh, that the Thunder are going to have to look at is first you have to you know at least control Aldridge because like you say the offense goes through him. What are the you know what the Thunder option for stopping that ball at Aldridge and not giving him the shot he wants or the spot he wants. Well, I think that that really relies upon Steven Adams, who's getting better. I mean, he's playing much better. He's had the tendency in the past to get into foul trouble, more so a year ago than he has this season. So he's showing his progression that he's becoming a better player. And you also have to help off that, you know, some on uh, Aldridge at times. Um, I would think that that means Steven Adams needs to play a lot of quality minutes or you have to put pressure on the Spurs in other ways uh, and making Aldridge go out and guard a man on the perimeter. Okay, and that, me, that brings in Serge Ibaka. Mm -hmm. Serge Ibaka has to have a productive game. To me, he is the key to being able to play well against the Spurs because he has to make Aldridge defend. He has to bring him out and make him defend and, and put pressure on Aldridge other than you know just letting him have a spot on the, on the, on the post that he likes. Well, in the past, Serge has been very key in the, in the series of the Spurs. A couple of years ago in the playoffs, when Serge wasn't on the floor, the Spurs obliterated Oklahoma City. When he was on the floor, they played much better. But, Rick, we haven't seen a good Serge Ibaka in quite some time, and I thought Billy Donovan made a, you know, a pretty big statement against Indiana by playing Ennis Cantor down the stretch instead of Serge Ibaka, and Ibaka just wasn't giving him anything. Cantor did give him a lot. Uh, Ibaka's a better defensive player than what Ennis is, but if he is – invisible on offense and this Thunder team is really playing with its uh, hands tied behind its back. You know, and, that, and that's one of the things that, you know, Ibaka has been a disappointment to say the least this year. Uh, you know, because there's, the Spurs have one, two of Aldridge and Kawhi Leonard and, and, you know, and they've got Duncan and Parker. The, you know, the Thunder have uh, KD and Westbrook and, and before they had Ibaka, whereas, you know, uh, Golden State has got Thompson and, and Curry and Dem uh, Draymond Green. Mm -hmm. Those three, and Draymond Green's been more reliable in that third option than the Spurs or the Thunder have been able to produce. Well, definitely in his third option, he's a facilitator. He's a guy that gets triple doubles with heavy numbers on assists. You know, he's shot better in the three-point uh, range earlier in the season than he has later on in the year. So his scoring is not quite as good, and defensively, he's pretty salty. So Draymond Green was kind of an unexpected piece that landed in the lap of the Golden State Warriors in the second round. Yeah, and, and it, he has been very productive. Um, get, but getting back to the Spurs and the Thunder, you know, Ibaka, if he doesn't have that production, 
Cantor's not known for his defense. That's, you know, so they're going to have to put him on the offside, and it, it all comes down to Adams. Can he handle Aldridge? Well, and, and again, that's a tall order, and, and if Aldridge gets Adams in foul trouble, then the Thunder really doesn't have any kind of option defensively for the post. I mean, they're in big trouble there, and that's one of the big keys, I think, for Adams is he's got to stay out of foul trouble, and that gives Oklahoma City at least a chance to defend the rim. Otherwise, they don't have a rim defender. Yeah. Uh, you know, they lost with Perk, could defend the rim. Uh, last season, even though he wasn't a starter and not near as athletic as he was, and we've seen that even slip this season. But the Thunder have to, are going to have to rely on Adams very heavily to defend the rim, not only from a post player, but from penetration. Yeah, you know, and, and so you're looking at it, it, it looks to be the advantage substantially goes to the Spurs in the front court. You know, now that doesn't take into consideration KD, and we'll talk about him in the next segment. But Westbrook has got to provide something from the Thunder's point of view in order to offset Aldridge and Kawhi Leonard? Well, that's a big matchup problem for the Spurs. I mean, guarding guarding uh, Aldridge is a problem for Oklahoma City, but guarding Russell is a problem for everyone in the league, but more so San Antonio, especially if you go with Tony Parker or Patty Mills because they're small point guards that like to penetrate and kick. Uh, now, can Kawhi Leonard guard Russell? Yes, I think he can. Uh, then what do the Spurs do with Kevin Durant? And I think that in crunch time, the Spurs will go with Kawhi Leonard on Russell Westbrook because he dominates the ball so much. And I think that could be a little bit of a kryptonite for Oklahoma City. So we'll, I wait, we'll see how it plays out on Saturday night. Oklahoma City's got the home crowd. They're going to have a lot of enthusiasm and energy. But I think the chess pieces would give the advantage to San Antonio. Well, and you're right. I mean, if I'm Popovich, I put Kawhi Leonard on Westbrook and say, hey, we'll take our chances and everybody else. You cut off the head, you keep Westbrook from penetrating, being a dominant force of distributing then all of a sudden the Thunder are average. And I like the switch late. I like the switch to do it late in the game because the game's not going to get out of hand for San Antonio early, uh, even if Oklahoma City gets out to a 10-point lead. So show them a different look early, then give them a different look late. Don't give them a time to adjust. Yeah, and that, that could be problematic for the Thunder. But we'll talk about that more in the next segment. But let me talk to you about Brown O'Haver adjusters for the insured. Brown O'Haver, the adjusters for the insured. Just as Billy Donovan, coach for the Thunder, has to make the right call for the Thunder, you need to make the right call as well. If you sustain damage to your home or business by storms, you need to make the right call too. Brown O'Haver, adjusters for the insured. Brown O'Haver, with over 25 years experience in helping the insured, can help you settle your claim in an equitable manner. Don't settle for as low as 30 or 40 cents on the dollar. Get full value with expert help from Brown O'Haver, adjusters for the insured. Don't settle for less. Call Brown O'Haver today. Right now at Eskridge Honda, take 15% off all remaining 2015 Honda Civics in stock during the Happy Honda Day sales event. Let us go the Eskridge mile for you. Eskridge Honda, I-240 or EskridgeHonda.com. Why have people trusted Sam's Optical for over 30 years for their eyeglass needs? I, I, I think I'm the new kid on the block with Sam's on. As a matter of fact, when I came here, I wasn't coming here to buy glasses. I was coming here to get some information to where the doctor's office was next door. And just the avionics and the atmosphere. After they gave me the information I needed, I went to my eye doctor. Then I came back in and felt like I was at home. Sam's Optical for over 30 years, bringing you the best prices and service at any of Sam's locations. At RV General Store, we've got rootin' tootin' RV bargains for you every day. 27-foot bunkhouse travel trailers, just $13,995 and $117 a month. Any day. 28-foot double slide fifth wheels, just $27,995 and $199 a month. Every day. And Vegas slide-out motorhomes, just $72,911 and $489 a month. Today. Plus, over 150 RVs to pick through. And we're Oklahoma's only dealer with RV warranty forever. Rootin' tootin' RV bargains at RV General Store, where we make going fun. Hi, it's Sam at Louie's Grill and Bar, where we are famous for delicious burgers like our new Deep South Burger, featuring sliced ham, smoky barbecue sauce, and fried green tomatoes. At Louie's, we're in your neighborhood. Hi, I'm Phil, owner of Mattresses and Furniture. You'll find me here every day and I would love to meet you. And that's not the case at most other furniture stores. Five-piece dining sets starting at $129. Sectionals starting at $399. Sofa and love seats starting at $599. And take it all home with no money down and no credit check. Come see me. I'll do whatever it takes to earn your business. And unlike the other guys, I won't miss you over a few bucks. Here at Mattresses and Furniture, Southwest 15th and Council Road. Come see us. 
welcome back Thunder Weekly. Rick Heath, Mark Rogers with you from Louis Brookhaven here in Norman. Great place to come, enjoy drink specials during March Madness or during the Thunder game. Plus all food is under $10 and it's a great selection of food also, Mark. Absolutely, all, all the menu items here are great. They are and, and it's a fun atmosphere, lots of TVs and always a fun atmosphere at all your neighborhood, Louis grill and bars around the metro area. We were just talking about Westbrook uh, being hard to, you know, Tony Parker cannot guard him, Patty Mills cannot guard him, and so he's been an advantage the Spurs have had that they have to exploit to a certain extent. Um, and he has to continue to do that and play under control in that role in order for the Thunder to not only win a game Saturday night, but make a, make us, you know, uh, in the playoffs have any chance at all. Well, I think that it's his ability to overpower uh, Mills and Parker is there. And this may be one of those times where it calls for a lot of the pull-up game at the elbow, which is something we've seen Russ kind of go away from. He's now more tendency to try to take it to the basket, certainly in transition, to pull up or to find open teammates. Once you beat your man on dribble penetration, that's how the Thunder gets hurt a lot uh, when they have, or they're defending their opponents. So I think for Russell, the key to that is being under control, don't settle for threes, and watch the turnovers. Turnovers happen when Russ gets into the lane and really doesn't have anywhere to finish. When he gets to be, yeah, when, when he starts starts forcing things instead of letting them come to him. And I love what you just said, don't shoot the threes. Mm -hmm. You know, don't force the threes. Uh, Russ has a tendency sometimes when things are going his way to have that feeling that I'm gonna jack this three, don't jack this three, especially early in the shot clock. And I think that's a detriment that the Thunder cannot afford to have against a good, smart team like the Spurs. Well, that's right. And again, unless he's hitting a high percentage, but he's usually not. Um, that's a shot that I think the NBA, for the most part, is willing to give him because his other parts of his game are so good. You know, getting to the basket and pulling up, hitting that mid-range jump shot, that's, he's tremendous at that. So if you're going to have to live with Russell Westbrook shooting the ball, you're going to want to him to do it from behind the three-point line. Yeah, before the, I, I, I want to talk about the benches of both teams. All right. Before we do that, we haven't talked about KD. I mean, we've been in this almost oh, yeah. two segments and a half, and we haven't talked about KD. So if they put Kawhi Leonard on Westbrook, who guards KD? And that's the problem for the Spurs. Well, I would say in that situation, you probably go to Danny Green, um, you know, who's a, an adequate defender, and he's got height and 6'8", but Kevin Durant would likely eat him up. But I think the way – the reason I would go Leonard early on Kevin uh, and late on Russell is because Durant early in the game, if he's getting some touches, you know, might start to feel it a little bit where if you frustrate him early in the game, he may not be around as much late. Clearly, late in the game, you want, if you're Oklahoma City, the ball in the hands of Russell. KD's had some turnover issues when he's trying to go to the point position late in games, so I think that's the best way for the Spurs to handle it defensively. And hey, if Danny Green ends up on Kevin Durant, then feed him the ball opposite side, maybe through someone else, through a Dion Waiters, or find a way to get the ball to Kevin in the post or on the wing, because I think he can eat Danny Green up. Well, that's that's why I'm, I'm looking at Boris Diaw. You know, Boris Diaw's a little bit bulkier, a yeah. little bit bigger, a little slower, yeah. but he might be able to body up on KD, and, and Popovich has been playing Diaw a lot more lately as opposed to resting Duncan, you know, and playing him in that position. Well. Boris Diaw, it's another reason why the Spurs are so good, is that his offensive game is tremendous. I mean, you know, defensively, he's not great, but again, he's he can score in the post, he can hit outside jump shots, and he's a weapon and a luxury that can be a great piece if you need him in a game. If you need some post scoring or just scoring overall, you can put Boris Diaw in there, and he's a guy, a guy that can score five out of six possessions. That's yeah. what makes San Antonio so good. Well, you know, just look at the bench. All right, you know, San Antonio's got Diaw on the bench. They've got David West. Uh, they've got Patty Mills. Ginobili. Ginobili. I mean, mm -hmm. I didn't even talk about Ginobili. He's an all NBA player, yeah. all world. I mean, he's coming along. He's, he's healthy mm -hmm. uh, again. You know, and so they've got the, the behemoth, Boban Marjanovic. I mean, this guy's unbelievably huge. He doesn't get to play much, but he could be the enforcer, you know. And Kevin Martin. Kevin Martin, you mentioned earlier, they picked up some pe uh, pieces at the, uh, you know, when people released, and Kevin Martin's now on that bench. Well, and all those guys can score, every one of them. Uh, even the big man inside, 
he takes up so much space that you're oh overwhelmed. <laughs> you're overwhelmed when he gets the ball. If he gets it close to the basket, he's going to score and he's going to rebound. So it's hard to push him out of there. Well, you know, I mean, you compare the benches. You got Foy, Singler, Waiters, Cantor, Collison. Of those five, you know, all, basically all you're getting out of offense on a consistent basis is Cantor for the Thunder. Well, and I think that's why San Antonio is so good. And I think even Golden State is you. You know what you've got. And you've got consistency with those guys. I mean, for the most part, Boris Diaw can come in and give you offense right away. Ginobili, as you mentioned, he's a he's he's a tremendous player. Now he's not as good as he used to be, but he can go to the basket. He can draw fouls. You can put the ball in his hands. You know you're going to be pretty safe with it uh, almost every night. So that consistency is what makes San Antonio a championship contender and has been so good for so long. Well, you know, and, and as, as good as Golden State has been, the Spurs have had a record-setting season of their own sure you know undefeated at home and just put the defending nba champion in this place when they came to, down to visit so you know the spurs are formidable in any way shape or form for any team and especially with someone that may face them in the playoffs like the thunder i think when you talk about what san antonio done this year that's elite it's defend points per game they're allowed i think 91 in the nba if you look on the other end of the spectrum, Golden State scoring 115, which is off the charts. So both of these teams are special, one offensively, one defensively. Yeah, and we saw what wins out is defense uh, when they play when Golden State went down there. Yeah, so, you know, that's one thing that the Thunder are going to have to really work on is to play smart, play efficient on offense, and then also defend at the higher level than they've been able to display so far this yeah, year. Yeah, I agree with that. All right, we'll be back with more right after this. Just as Thunder coach Billy Donovan needs to make the right call for the Thunder, you need to make the right call for your insurance adjuster. Brown O'Haver Adjusters for the Insured is the place to call to help with your claim against the insurance company. Brown O'Haver with over 25 years experience will help you get the best settlement you can from the insurance company, just as these people with their testimonial. Brown O'Haver came in first, and I talked with Alice there. She came over here and met with me and just sounded wonderful. Yeah, it was like an angel, honestly. Yeah. I mean, I mean, you see that that light behind, you know, on TV where there's an angel and a light, and that's how I felt about Alice and when I seen her. And just to hear her talk and the calmness and the... Um, you know everything it was yeah, just she's, like she's very confident uh, yeah makes you feel at ease brown o'haver a justice for the insured call brown o'haver today don't settle for less right now at eskridge honda take 15 percent off all remaining 2015 honda civics in stock during the happy honda day sales event let us go the eskridge mile for you eskridge honda i240 or eskridgehonda.com Hi, it's Sam at Louie's Grill and Bar, where we are famous for delicious burgers, like our new Deep South Burger, featuring sliced ham, smoky barbecue sauce, and fried green tomatoes. At Louie's, we're in your neighborhood. Knippelmeyer Chevrolet. Knippelmeyer Chevrolet. Knippelmeyer Chevrolet. Come on down and join our family, and we'll shake on it. Knippelmeyer Chevrolet. Chevrolet. Hi, I'm Phil, owner of Mattresses and Furniture. You'll find me here every day and I would love to meet you. And that's not the case at most other furniture stores. Five piece dining set starting at $129. Sectionals starting at $399. Sofa and love seats starting at $599. And take it all home with no money down and no credit check. Come see me. I'll do whatever it takes to earn your business. And unlike the other guys, I won't miss you over a few bucks. Here at Mattresses and Furniture, Southwest 15th and Council Road. Come see us. And welcome back. Final segment of Thunder Weekly. Rick Heath, Mark Rogers from Louis Brookhaven here in Norman. Fun place to go. If you're looking for a place to watch March Madness, Thunder Games, or any other golf match or whatever, any sporting event, the neighborhood, Louis Grill and Bars, all over the metro area. Fun place to go. All food under $10 and great drink and fun specials each time. Let me thank the sponsors of Thunder Weekly, the Trails Golf Club in Norman. If you're looking for a place this spring to play golf this summer for you and your family, Trails Golf Club, the championship course, great clubhouse, fun family atmosphere. 
give them a call, 364-3790. They got membership specials and joining members right now. All you have to do is give them a call at the Trails Golf Club and they will hook you up with a membership at the Trails. Also, Tickets Unlimited. If you're looking for Spurs tickets or concert tickets, the best selections available at Tickets Unlimited. Go to OklahomaTickets.com or give Tickets Unlimited a call at 364-7500. Also, Sun and Ski Sports. Spring is here and all the new equipment for spring and summer is in at Sun and Ski. If you're looking for great outdoor wear for hiking, camping, boating, uh, all that and water sports and more, Sun and Ski has everything available right now for spring. Go by Sun and Ski's three locations in Oklahoma, North May Avenue in Oklahoma City, Sooner Mall in Norman, and in Tulsa across from Woodland Hills Mall. Also Brown O'Haver adjusters for the insured. Do not settle for less. Call Brown O'Haver first and let them help you with your insurance settlement. Let's talk a little bit more about matchups. I, you know, right now we're talking about, you know, the bench favors um, the Spurs, but Cantor can be a very effective bench player for the Thunder and has been. I, I see a lot of good things coming from Cantor not only this game perhaps but the rest of the year and into the playoffs well his offensive skills are almost elite in the nba when it comes to the post player efficiency rating which is an offensive skewed statistic he's in the top 10 in the league for all players his strengths are running the floor uh he's excellent in transition when the thunder play at a fast tempo like russell westbrook gets out they rebound move the ball Cantor's is usually a very reliable option to catch and finish at the rim in the fast break and then rebounds. He can get his own miss or he can get others miss. When the ball comes off right around the rim, he's got great quick hops, better than you would think. Uh, his ability doesn't look like he's the most athletic guy. Uh, I saw him uh, earlier in the week at a function in street clothes. You wouldn't call this, I mean, the guy's tall, but you wouldn't necessarily think, hey, he's an NBA player, but he's much more athletic than you would think. Well, he plays athletically on the offensive end. Now, the thing that doesn't translate is he doesn't play athletically on the defensive end. I think the system is maybe perhaps confusing a little bit. Switch and rolls, he's not good at guarding a smaller player. He doesn't have the quickness, but the vertical ability to jump and the quick hops, he's got that to move his feet from side to side. That's a little bit much to ask a guy that's his size to do. Well, but he, he does have elite offensive skills. Uh, his offensive rebounding on a, on a per 36 basis is probably one of the top two or three yeah. in, in oh, the yeah. NBA. Uh, you know, so that is an asset that the Thunder need to utilize against the Spurs. And, you know, and I think they need to get either Foy, Waiters, or Campaign you know, to get double digit points in order to help, help offset some of the things that the Spurs are going to do. You know, I, we, I think when, if, if you're being critical of Foy, we didn't give him a whole lot of time to adjust to coming to Oklahoma City. It's still the NBA. Yeah, it's a little bit different system than what he was playing in Denver or when he played in Minnesota. So he started to play a little bit better. That could be a big, big help for the Thunder bench. If he can contribute, like as you said, you know, maybe a 15 to 20 point night somewhere along the line. He scored 30 earlier this season in the game, so he's capable of that. Yeah, you know, so they just need somebody else to help contribute off the bench besides just Cantor, you know, because one of the strongest benches in the NBA is with the Spurs. So the Thunder at least need to hold their own or make a statement. And speaking of making a statement, I think that's what Saturday's about. The yeah. Thunder need to make a statement and say, hey, look, we can hold our own court right here against the elite in the NBA. I'll make the playoffs more interesting. There it will. Hey, that's going to be it for this week's show. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on Thunder Weekly.